Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a new update for the iPhone and uh, this is for the iPhone 5S and um, today's update is iOS 11.2.2 and that has been released today and um, this has one major update. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware but um, obviously on the news there was um, an article about Intel and ARM CPU um, affected basically so that is what main, mainly a lot of computers and phones uses and um, with that there's a backdoor floor where hackers can actually um, hack into your devices or computer and um, start doing anything on the phone like copy stuff of your documents or important information and um, so what has Apple well, so basically what Apple has done is made a software to patch some of it basically and obviously the problem in this case is actually a hardware problem so software won't be able to do as much but obviously having the software update it's going to patch a little bit so what this does is on safari it will um, patch one of the problems which um, where the hackers can actually get into your phone and on that it would actually stop them from getting into your phone so obviously with that update that will help out from getting well getting hacked and um, with this update as you can see for the iphone 5s it's a 62.3 mb worth of downloadable file or well, update and um, if you need any more information it's right there obviously with that one it shows you what other devices have the update and the other devices are the macbook and um, it's a safari update and obviously for ios devices and um, so this is how much memory that i've had so 16 gig available we had 11.21 so that's the version uh, we've got 10.07 gigabytes and after updating it it was 10.16 so we got a bit of memory back as you can see it's on I was 11.2.2 and with Geekbench score um, they have mentioned that the score will be a bit lower because of that security patch um, so they have mentioned it but they also did say that it won't affect the speed so you, also, you shouldn't be able to feel any difference and it's just literally going to be a couple of numbers down um, from the score so here this was on iOS 11.2.1 and the score here was 1282 for single core score and for multi core score it was 2207 and um, once it's been updated uh, I'll just show you guys that once we got it all updated it has been away uh, so if I show you guys here 11 uh, 1286 uh, so if I go on this one for example so here you can see I was 11.2 so it's um, this one's a bit better so this one was 12 because obviously every time you do the score it will change by a different well just by a couple of numbers so that will never be accurate but obviously the main numbers will be here the 1200 and the 8 part sometimes because it does um, depend so I'll just show you guys here. So iOS 11.2.1, 1286, 2201 for multi-core. And then here we've got 1296 single core score and 2195 multi-core score for iOS 11.2.2. Um, 11 there you go, so 11.2.2 there. And if you wanted to compare it here, you can see that here it was 1286, then it went to 1296. So it's been an improvement up there, and for multi-core from 2201 it went to 2195, so a little down there, but obviously that's not really noticeable difference there. Um, but other than that, uh, it should be all fine. And um, if you guys have been is um, having issues with battery, um, obviously Apple has released a statement saying that they have slowed the phone down and that is mainly with older phones so if you've got an iphone 5s or even a 4 they will be affected because of um the new updates um the iphone 4 might be okay actually because um it would depend because on ios 10.3.2 i believe they update when once you updated it it would actually um slow down 
the phone just because the battery would cut off so I'm not sure if you guys remember where it would be on like around 20% the phone would just cut off or even 30% the phone would just cut off because um, obviously the battery couldn't handle the speed that it was getting um, from the f um, actual processes so what Apple did was they slowed down the phone so the battery can handle the speed because obviously now the speed has gone down it just makes the phone now a bit unresponsive which obviously that's not something that you want you want a phone that is nice and smooth and you should be able to use it so um what they're gonna do is replace the battery for you but obviously there will be a charge for that so um before it was 79 pounds i think now they're gonna drop it down to 39 or 29 pounds i believe it was and so you can call your apple support and find out if you do need one um they will go through it with you so they're going to do some testing diagnostic and see whether you need one or not um but at least they have finally mentioned why it was actually slowing down because every time uh, you update to the newest update it just kept slowing down so obviously that's not what you would want from a phone you want it to be faster so um they finally said that they've actually been slowing it down but it, they were actually slowing it down because for the phone because if they didn't then the phone would just keep turning itself off after 20 percent or 30 percent or 40 percent it would just uh, randomly just turn off but now by making it a bit slower you can actually use the battery but the only downside is the performance has gone down but the phone lasts a bit longer um but that was the main thing that the reason was for it to go slow was because of that um but yeah with this new update obviously it's, it is for a security update especially if something like that where hackers can actually get into your phone and um, it is recommended to update because it is something that you will need so you don't get hacked but um there should be a new update coming as well uh hopefully ios 11 2.5 should be coming out around around this time as well because they did sell early 2018 they should be getting the new update because um they're going to show you the new battery management system and um, all the other things as well so that way you can manage your battery you can see a lot more information because obviously right now if you go to your battery you don't really get much so all you get right now low power mode and battery percentage that's it and then a bit of information there but they're going to have a lot more information now so you can actually do you wait well you can see how your battery is being used if it's bad or if it's not so you get more information out of that so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe